Allosaurus versus Utah Raptor. What? Surely this isn't a fair fight. Well, let's find out. Allosaurus was a vicious giant carnivore that lived 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. The name Allosaurus means different lizard. Hey, what makes you so special? Every dino will get the same treatment in this video. Utah Raptor is the oldest known and largest of the dromaeosaurids. Utah Raptor was what Velociraptor was supposed to be in Jurassic Park. Yes, the real Velociraptor was the size of a chicken. But Utah Raptor came along to save us from broken dreams. Anyway, let's get this fight started. First, some stats. Allosaurus. Height, 5 meters. Length, 8 to 12 meters. Weight, 1 to 2 tons. Bite force, around 2,100 newtons. Speed, 55 kilometers per hour. Diet, Stegosaurus, Santana Raptor, and Brachiosaurus. Now onto the weapons of Allosaurus. Allosaurus possessed a very weak jaw. So weak, in fact, that a modern crocodile has a stronger bite force. But bite force is overrated, as we'll find out in this battle. Allosaurus was a flesh grazer, which means it could take bites of flesh out of living sauropods, using its head like an axe. It would then wait for the sauropod to bleed out. Allosaurus had functional arms and may have used an attack like that of modern big cats, grasping the prey with the forelimbs and then making multiple bites on the throat to crush the trachea. Okay, now onto the stats of Utah Raptor. Height, 1.7 meters. Length, 7 meters. Weight, 1 ton. Bite force, I'm guessing more than Deinonychus, so let's say 8,500 newtons. Speed, 50 kilometers per hour. Diet, small prey, but also large herbivores. Now onto the weapons of Utah Raptor. Each inside toe had a large 10-inch hooked claw that was controlled by a strong tendon. This claw was held upward when the animal was walking or running. However, when it attacked, the tendon snapped tight and the claw clamped down with great speed and force, slicing deeply into its victim. Recently, Gignac et al. 2010 presented a selection of bite marks to show Deinonychus as capable of deeply puncturing bone with powerful bites. Experiments with modern cow bones suggest that Deinonychus needed a whopping 8,200 newtons to puncture Tenontosaurus bones, to a degree seen in the fossil remains. Utah Raptor also possessed excellent binocular vision and strong arms. Now onto the advantages of Allosaurus in this battle. Well, he was larger and heavier. Allosaurus could have used his bulk to push around Utah Raptor. He may have had a weaker bite force, but his jaws were bigger, which could have taken out a decent chunk of flesh using a slashing attack. Unlike T-Rex, his arms were pretty functional. Paleontologists accept Allosaurus as an active predator of large animals. There's dramatic evidence for Allosaurus attacks on Stegosaurus, including an Allosaurus tail vertebra with a partially healed puncture wound that fits a Stegosaurus tail spike. Allosaurus also took down huge sauropods, albeit perhaps in groups. Okay, now onto the disadvantages of Allosaurus. Allosaurus had a very weak bite. By using jaw muscles only, it could produce a bite force of only 2,200 newtons, less than the values for alligators, lions, and leopards. Allosaurus was slightly slower and less agile than Utah Raptor. The shape of the skull of Allosaurus limited potential binocular vision to 20% of width, slightly less than that of modern crocodilians, just enough to judge prey distance and time attacks. Allosaurus was likely less intelligent than Utah Raptor. Okay, now onto the advantages of Utah Raptor. Well, he was faster and more agile. Utah Raptor also had a stronger bite force, but his jaws were smaller. Still, Utah Raptor would have attacked viciously using biting attacks and claws. Utah Raptor too was no stranger to attacking large dinosaurs. Utah Raptor was also one of the most intelligent dinosaurs to ever live. Now onto the disadvantages of Utah Raptor. Well, he was smaller and lighter, and would have likely been tossed around. The Allosaurus is simply too robust and sturdy. Utah Raptor did have a stronger bite force, but this doesn't mean an automatic win. His jaws were smaller, and he would have struggled to take a chunk out of Allosaurus. Okay, let's fight. Utah Raptor and Allosaurus slowly circle each other. Allosaurus is hesitant as Utah Raptor rushes towards him. Utah Raptor leaps onto Allosaurus and digs its sickle claws into Allosaurus's side, biting viciously at the same time. Allosaurus is getting pulverized, but then he has an idea. Allosaurus rolls to the ground and crushes Utah Raptor under his two-ton body. Utah Raptor suffers a broken leg, and before he can get up, Allosaurus chomps down hard on his delicate neck, killing him. The end. Verdict. I reckon Allosaurus would win 80% of the time. He's simply larger and heavier. 
but do not sleep on Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor was an awesome ambush predator and very intelligent, and if he caught Allosaurus off guard, could potentially win several times out of 10. If we add another Utah Raptor to the mix, then Allosaurus is going down. So there you have it, Utah Raptor versus Allosaurus. Which dinosaur battle would you like to see next? Leave a comment below and I might make it. Until next time, see you later.